Manchester United are going to be in the market for a new striker this summer. With Zlatan Ibrahimovic's injury, Wayne Rooney likely to depart the club. We're definitely in need of a new striker. But even with them in the squad last year, we didn't score enough goals. Only 54 in the Premier League. 29 less than champions Chelsea and 23 less than Arsenal, who finished one place above us. Now, we have already been linked to lots and lots of strikers. So what we've done is we've compiled a list of potential strikers that Jose Mourinho could sign. Who do you think we should sign? Let us know in the comments below. But here's our list. First up is Alexis Sanchez with 32 goals in 51 appearances. That's 134 minutes per goal this season. Alexis Sanchez was phenomenal at Arsenal. And for me, out of all of this list, for me, he's the one that suits United more. Premier League proven, powerful, committed, a real desire to win trophies other than the FA Cup. Sanchez, for me, would be an ideal signing. I don't think that Arsenal would repeat the Robin van Persie mistake, but it doesn't mean that I don't want Jose Mourinho to go and try and lure him to Old Trafford because he'd be an unbelievably good signing. Next up on the list is Alvaro Morata from Real Madrid. 20 goals in 40 appearances. That's a goal every 89 minutes from Morata this season. He only started 18 games as a central striker for Real Madrid. And in that time, he got 14 goals and two assists. An excellent return for a player who has become quite a bit part player underneath Zinedine Zidane. Now, we've already been linked with him. Rumours of a, a swap deal involved with David De Gea and Morata and Cash. But as a striker on his own... Morata would be an excellent signing, only 24 I think now, got years ahead of him, already played at elite level with Juventus and with Real Madrid. Could, Ra could Manchester United be that third club? Now we can't make a list of strikers without talking about Harry Kane. 35 goals in 38 appearances, a goal every 87 minutes in the Premier League last season. Only 29 starts he made in the Premier League due to injury, ruling him out of a few. And in that time he got 29 goals and 7 assists. I think Harry Kane last year showed us all that he is world class. He may have had a quiet Euros with England, but so did pretty much every single player. And he proved it on the biggest stage in the Premier League last year. But I don't think Spurs are going to let him go. For me, he is the best striker in the Premier League and clearly one of the top level strikers in the world. Spurs are moving to a new stadium. They've got an excellent project going on there. And Daniel Levy is notoriously hard to negotiate with. But with that new stadium comes costs. And maybe throwing 100 million at Spurs might tempt them. I'd certainly do it. Romelu Lukaku, 28 goals in 39 appearances. A goal every 131 minutes in the Premier League. This guy is only 24 and he's already got over 80 Premier League goals. That's a fantastic return. That's why people are saying that Lukaku, if he carries on, just as the same as they're saying about Harry Kane, if they both carry on at the goal scoring rate, they could get towards that Adam Shearer record of the most goals ever scored in the Premier League. And Romelu Lukaku, he's shown that he has got the quality to cut it in the Premier League. He's desperate to play Champions League football now, and he's not going to get that at Everton. Will Everton sell? They will for the right price. But how much would that price be? 60, 70, 80 million, quite a lot. And obviously, he was at Chelsea previously, then got sold to Everton. Chelsea are linked with him again. Maybe Jose Mourinho could go in for him. Lukaku has been quite quiet when he's played Manchester United, but that's only in certain games. Overall, he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Harry Kane for that golden boot all season, right up until the end. And he will be a fantastic striker signing for somebody. Will it be Manchester United? Next up on our list is Andrea Bellotti. 28 goals in 38 appearances for Torino last season. The 23-year-old has been a striking sensation. Torino finished ninth in Serie A, but he still scored 26 goals and had seven assists in 35 league appearances. That is an outrageously good return. Now, he, as I said, he's 23. He's one of the hottest striking prospects in Serie A, Italian-wise, anyway. <sighs> Would it be a risk to sign him? It's always a risk to bring in a player from another country because you don't know whether they're going to adapt to the Premier League, but it doesn't mean that you can't take the risk sometimes. Now, Belotti has been scoring plenty of goals, and as I said, he's only 23. He's got a lot of time left in him, just like Lukaku and Kane. Maybe he'll be the signing that Jose Mourinho makes. Now, the striker who's been tearing it up in the French League for some years now is Alexandre Lacazette. This season, 37 goals in 45 appearances. A goal every 86 minutes in Ligue 1. He wasn't the top scorer because that was Edison Cavani, but you can't knock Lacazette. Over 30 goals in three consecutive seasons. Now, he was touted for a move to Atletico Madrid, potentially, to replace Antoine Griezmann. Now, we're not signing Griezmann, 
And Atletico Madrid certainly aren't signing Lacazette because of that transfer ban. So we've missed out on Griezmann. Maybe Lacazette is the player that we're going to sign to cover that gap. He has been prolific, a fantastic, fantastic goal scorer out in League 1. But could he do it in the Premier League? You don't know, but he's got a fantastic pedigree from what he's done out in France. Now, out of all the strikers on this list, Paolo Dybala's goal every 196 minutes is far below pretty much everybody else, with only 19 goals in 47 appearances this season. But Dybala, for me, is one of the best strikers on the list. He is an absolute top draw, elite, elite player. Definitely one of Juventus' best players. Uh, but he's operating in a number 10 role and in a striker role. He's got a lot of movement in his game. And he's key to this Argentina team as well. And for me, as I said, on this list, out of all the top quality strikers, I would say Dybala is one of the best. He might not have had the most prolific season, but don't take away from the fact that he is a top draw player. And if Manchester United are looking at the best players to compete in the Champions League again next year, you've got to look at Dybala as well. And the last striker we're going to mention is Pierre Aubameyang. 40 goals in 45 appearances, a goal every 90 minutes in the Bundesliga. He's already been touted potentially with a move to Paris Saint-Germain and maybe by the time this video is out, it's already going to be done. But I don't think it is. And if, as I said, Manchester United are looking at elite strikers, you can't not mention Aubameyang, just as you can't not mention Dybala and Kane, Sanchez, Lukaku, Belotti. Low, so many strikers that we have been linked with. And Aubameyang will be a fantastic, fantastic signing. Outrageous pace. Imagine him on the counter-attack with Martial, with Mkhitaryan, with Pogba, with Rashford. That would be fantastic. And Manchester United, I think, are really going to hit hard on the counter next season in the second year under Jose Mourinho. But which striker would you like to see Manchester United sign? Is there anybody I haven't mentioned that you think we should be looking at? Let me know in the comments below, as always. And drop a like on the video, ladies and gentlemen. It really does help. So many of you commenting these days, so many of you liking the videos. It's fantastic to see. But which striker do you think Manchester United will sign this summer? Let us know below.